Hi, it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. So today I have a haul for you and it's from a bunch of different stores. So if you want to see what I got at for all kinds of holidays, come join me. Welcome. Um, thank you for spending part of your day with me. My name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxings, subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy, special edition ones. I also do hauls, clothing, beauty, lifestyle, food, you name it. If you've shopped for it, I've probably hauled it. And if that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button down there. It is completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on the bell notification right there, right next to the subscribe button. That will let you know when I have giveaways going on. We'll also let you know when I have new content going up. Any current giveaways that are active will be listed down in the description. And okay, so today I have a haul for you. Now this is a couple of different stores. There's, and we got about every season, every holiday a imaginable thrown in here. I think the only thing I don't have is Halloween, but I got just about everything else. Let's start with Talbot's. Okay. Um, I'm gonna link the prior video up here. I did a haul before from Talbot's and Macy's, and and in the Talbot's haul there were two things that had not come in yet they were back ordered so i do have those here for you today okay so oh the first one is just this little t-shirt all right will be great for the summer i love the little accent on the side here the light blue and the green in both are good colors for me super lightweight will be great Hey, for our weekends or when we go on vacation. And the second thing I have is one of their charming cardigans, and it is in this flower one, like maybe lilies or something. But it's red and black and cream, and I just love it. There is a three quarter sleeve. I love how these cardigans fit me. Yeah, so happy to have a new one of those. I was, um, both of those were like on clearance. I think in total they were about $15 or something like that. But they, they had been on back order. So I just got those in. And okay. Next let's go to Costco. Oh, now at Costco I, I of course picked up a whole bunch of stuff of, um, let me know if you want to see like a Costco food haul because as I shop at Costco almost weekly, a, this week I picked up a lot of their like ready-made made meals that we like just kind of stocking up. up, up. So, I mean, we got like the, the ravioli lasagna, street tacos, their chicken chili, their um, chicken noodle soup. So let me know if you want to see a food haul sometime from there. Er, but the other things that I picked up, um, we found these solar shades. They have both the standard size and the jumbo size. These, my husband likes car shade, uh, car shade. And um, it also comes with two side ones here. Er, this was $10. Um, his is like completely falling apart. All right, so I picked this up for him. This will probably be in his Easter basket. It won't really fit in the basket, but that's kind of what he's gonna have for Easter. Um, and then the other uh, things I got were uh, some clothes for the kids. They had, had these from the 32 Degree Cool oh, brand. Um, I really like this brand. I have a couple t-shirts by them have um, some long sleeve shirts or it's for the winter or a uh, jacket. I really like this brand and you can't beat the, the prices for it at Costco. Oh, so for Andrew, I've got a pair of gray and black shorts. They come as a two pack. They've got pockets it's, and they were $12.99. So like seven, not even $7 per short. 
All right, they also had them for the girls. Well, Emily picked out these pink and purple ones, go figure. And then there were just the plain purple back here. Same cost, $12.99. And then for her, we also picked up some of the t-shirts. So this one has the same pink and purple. It will look really cute with the purple shorts. And then it has a solid purple, which again, then cute with that. that and then the last color was this like aqua blue and this will look really cute with like white shorts or jean shorts or it's, and that will keep them nice and cool in the summertime. Those were kind of like no season or I guess maybe summer. So moving on to Walmart. At Walmart, I went in looking for Easter stuff. I figured Valentine's Day is over or they will probably have all of their Easter stuff available. The shelves for Easter were almost bare. There were a few things, but uh, what I was really looking for, or uh, they didn't have. Uh, they did have plastic Easter eggs, but uh, there weren't any good deals yet. Uh, so I bypassed those. those now, one thing, I did not pick this up. Actually, my husband got this for me. It says, you had me at shenanigans, and it has the cat with the, the gold glitter glasses on in the shamrock shape. So, oh, this is at Walmart. I think it's like six bucks. It's super soft. Uh, um, but I could not find any decent Easter stuff, but I did find Valentine's Day stuff. I figured that was long gone and I wasn't even really looking. I don't usually, a, I am the like the day after shopper or crazy lady for like Christmas, Easter, Halloween. I don't usually bother with Valentine's Day, but I happened to see a display for 75% off and it was like calling to me like, come you must come look at me because I'm 75% off. So I did find um, some Valentine's Day cards. I would have liked to have had something like this this year. These were, these are Hallmark ones with Snoopy. It's a 10 pack. They originally $8, 75% off. I got these for $1.24. All right, so, oh, 12 cents a card. Crazy. And then, you know, I had to go hunting to find the kitty cat ones. And so I got another 10 pack. Uh, again, Hallmark Air Connections and $1.24. So $2.50. And then also I found these little treat bags for Valentine's Day. I thought these would be great. Um, Emily will still be in elementary school. They always have Valentine's exchange, so she can use these. We can put a couple little treats in them for her class and she can just write on to them. Um, she also usually does a Valentine's Day exchange with Girl Scouts and I thought that, that I could maybe use some in giveaways and things um, or just sending friend mail to people. So I picked up two of these. There's 20 bags in each one. They were 98 cents originally, so a great price originally. 24 cents. So excited. So, oh, got those. Okay, and then the last thing I picked up there, or took care of Valentine's Day, they found some Christmas though too. I guess you could use it for Valentine's Day. This is a girl's outfit. It's got the long sleeve red t-shirt. It's got this little fuzzy super soft vest and then it comes with a skirt also and this one has like roses on it. That's why I said you could use it for either Christmas or Valentine's Day. So this is for Emily. It was originally $20. I got it for $5. So I did pick that up for Dollar Tree, I did find some um, uh, Valentine's Day candy that was marked down. It was two for a dollar. So I picked up two of these white peanut butter hearts. My husband loves white chocolate, so I will hold on to one of these for him. And 
and I picked up a second one of those because I don't know what I'll use that one for yet. They had these Smarty Love Hearts. All right, so I know Emily loves Smarties, so I will definitely be using one of those for Emily and one for Andrew next year. And then they had these super cute, oh, they are lollipops with popping candy. So I guess similar to like Fun Dip, where you kind of like wet the thing and stick it in the Fun Dip sugar. This is, you suck on the lollipop, but then dip it in the Pop Rocks. Uh, so, oh, this has three of them, so one for, or I didn't pick up any more St. Patrick's Day. That is where I got the banner, though, was at the Dollar Tree okay, uh, in a previous haul. I did find Easter stuff there, so I picked up this thing of 18 Easter eggs. Eggs. I usually I save plastic Easter eggs from year to year, so I don't usually have to buy any the following year. Somehow last year I either threw out like all the broken, mismatched ones, or I gave them away to somebody who was like looking for them for something else, and all of a sudden I didn't have any e plastic Easter eggs, so I knew I had to pick up some for this year. So dollar. Um, let's see, I found this cute little sign that just says Happy Easter. There. Um, I found this kind of sparkle mesh. I thought that once I take this down, I might put that up here for, or, um, like April or the end of March into April found a couple of sheet masks that I thought looked nice. There was this sugar and rosehip hydrating facial mask. There was this mermaid face mask, citrus scented. And there's a bubble face mask treatment with hyaluronic acid, a charcoal bubble face mask. And from the spa April line, it had a um, under eye and a lip mask. So I picked up those. I also picked up this uh, eye mask as that has like the little gels in it. You can put in the freezer and then put over your eyes. I had a migraine for like the last two days. Days. Um, I take Mask Monday this morning and it felt so good to put that cool mask on that I thought something like this that might really help with the migraine. So I picked that up. Um, I found shower fizzers. Because y'all know I love, love, love my shower essentials box. So, oh, I found these there. These are both from that Spra April line. These are... Or therapeutic calming and relaxing shower fizzers. It doesn't give me a. This one doesn't give me a scent. I'm guessing maybe um, it's like calming and relaxing. I'm guessing it's like a lavender. Or this one is therapeutic, exotic, and uplifting, and it looks like it has coconuts on it. So I thought both of those sounded good. And there's three in each each pack. So that's, I thought was a really good price. So three for a dollar there. there. Okay. Now y'all might want to cover your ears because there's going to be a big squeal coming here. There. I warned you. Okay. I found this, these color twist bath bombs. <laughs> Emily loves bath bombs. So there was this one with the unicorn on it that is cotton candy scented. <laughs> Yeah, you might want to cover your dog's ears too because it's really hot pitched. <laughs> what you can't see is Andrew is down here, like literally, like, because he knows he knows what's coming. And then I found these Peeps ones, and this one um, has like the original little Peeps, and then this one has the bunny Peeps on it. Um, they're both called like. A, like a hidden color inside. This one says chicks rule and this says bunnies rule. So 
Um, and they are both marshmallow scented. But the last thing I found, we found these fans. How gorgeous is this? They had all kinds of them. Um, they had, a lot of them had sayings on it, like slay or shade, or hallelujah, blessed. Um, I picked up two. I picked up, and the reason I picked them up was because we're going to Disney later this year. And having something that you can cool yourself with out in that Florida sun is imperative when you're at Disney and waiting in line. And we do have, we always have cooling towels. We have like the little face fans, but they, everything gets fought over, even though like, I think we have two face fans at this point, but I thought these fans would be great. So I picked this one up for me. So when I'm melting in that sun, and then, and I decided that this one was the best one for Emily because it reminded me of Cinderella or I guess Frozen also. So like Elsa. Uh, so either one of them. So I thought this looked like something a Disney princess would have. So this will be Emily's. Is, so oh, these will both be going into my Disney stash. Um, that's another one. If you would like to see me do some videos on Disney planning, let me know down in the comments. And this would be our third trip to Disney. I, a, you know, I research Disney like I research for my job. Uh, I am kind of a Disney nut and, and I know all kinds of tricks to making Disney a little bit cheaper. All right, so let me know if you would like me to do any other videos on Disney planning. Okay, that is it for my haul. This was getting really long. Um, let me know, have you been picking up stuff after Valentine's Day or for Easter? Or, or I am going to be checking Trader Joe's very soon to see if they have any of their Easter stuff in, and I will bring that to you as soon as I find it. Okay. That is all I have for you today. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.